back to our channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Amelia. My name is Andrew. And welcome to our channel. We are Soul Travelers. Send you guys lots of love today. Yeah. Lots of blessings, miracles are coming your way. And today's video, we're just going to have another little fun, deep talk from yeah. one of our recent experiences that we went to. And yeah so let me know what you guys think because this is something that doesn't get talked about often and yeah so yeah we like to see things from a different perspective and it's been really eye-opening now that we have gone through the spiritual journey deeper and deeper so we we see a lot of things for what it is now and yeah it's pretty trippy sometimes so I would say about a couple of weeks ago, we got free tickets to go to Disneyland with your mom and your sister. And we were all really excited to go because I haven't been to Disneyland since I was in middle school. No, 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 no. I haven't been to Disneyland since high school, but I was a sophomore in high school. I haven't been to Disneyland for about 10, nine years maybe so mm -hmm. it was a while for me as well yeah probably longer than mm -hmm. it's just so we basically got free tickets you guys okay <laughs> and yeah we're all excited we we go to disneyland and i'm like oh like really? it's pretty here you know eyes can be very deceiving you guys like even though it's something looks pretty and like I said, like sometimes all the candy and goodies, like they all look pretty and all in your face look pretty colors and they put really nice smells into them so the kids will be gravitated towards it and yeah, so. Yeah, it, it was really a fun experience, but also very like eye-opening eye experience. Mm -hmm. And also I feel like we had to share this, but took us a while to kind of process what happened at Disneyland for us so now we're ready to make this video yeah. for you guys so first and foremost I do know there's a lot of energy at Disneyland with everybody there so I want to say that it can be very draining while you're there I felt really drained a lot just from all the energy everywhere yeah. around us and you know there's a lot of people going there every day it's like always open so there's a lot of energy just in there just so much and it's very Millions hectic. of people mm -hmm. go there every year so it's a lot of energy for sure definitely yeah so let's get into some of the trippy stuff that we experienced there like yeah yeah so i think first we got there and just we were just exploring you know getting a feel of it just just it's been a while since we've both been there so and you know we started just to find hidden things like you know just be conscious about Disneyland and we just saw a lot of symbols a lot of times although I did not know what these symbols were but I saw many symbols in certain rides mm -hmm. I saw like just a lot of hidden messages mm -hmm. basically and you know, there was a lot of hidden creepy messages in some of the rides. Like, we made our way towards the castle and we decided to try some of the little fairy tale rides like Pinocchio and Toad, like Toad Snow, White. Snow White. And let me tell you this, Even guys. Even Winnie the Pooh. Yeah, Winnie the Pooh. And let me tell you that. These are not kid rides, you guys. This is literally, okay, so I feel like these rides were made to harvest children's energy and to leech onto them. And like, it's crazy because me, you know, even me and his mom were, were freaking out because like, we're like, this is dark, like this is a demonic ride. Like, why would they make this into a kid's ride? Mm -hmm. So it was like, we went on Toad and Pinocchio, like back after back. Mm -hmm. And there was nothing but like, scary just very dark energy i remember i was on both of the rides and i couldn't open my eyes for too long like i would be like this like when i'm trying to keep my energy safe and protected and i would go like this i'll plug my ears i'll close my eyes 
I'll scrunch up and then I, that's when I know there's a lot of spirits around me because I'm not trying to let them like scare me. Mm -hmm. And his mom even said that he that she saw like something really scary, like um, a scary spirit inside the ride. And yeah, I I remember going to the Pinocchio ride, and it's been a while since I've seen Pinocchio, but oh my gosh, I don't remember it being that demonic. But I'm gonna have to probably rewatch it. But a lot of these, Disney it's but that's the thing. They make these rides scarier than the movies. Mm -hmm. Like the movies already have a little bit of darkness to it. But like, the rides are on a whole nother level. And when I went in the Pinocchio ride, um, I was just trying to see what I would feel. And I was just in the moment, but I remember at one point feeling as if there was like something behind me and I can feel like it was very just weird, dark energy. And that's as best as I could describe it, but it was really weird that it caught me off guard. and. I don't get caught <laughs> off guard that easy so like i was like what the? like i felt it and like we all just recollected our thoughts after the ride we're like okay that ride was weird and we felt something there was like some shadow people in there there was just really weird stuff going on oh in that yeah ride. there was actual demons in these rides like that they would put on a show and then they would like come super close to you these demons and then i would be like what the like these poor children are going in these rides and they're probably traumatized and then let me tell you one thing guys i used to watch toy story when i was younger and i had this horrible sleep paralysis of woody you know the little guy um he was circling around me in circles on a bicycle where i was sleeping in my sleep paralysis and he was trying so hard to scare me because i was already scared of that movie so that's what i'm saying they tried to scare you these mm -hmm. children because we're very powerful when we're dreaming and they'll come into your dreams like some way. And yeah, children are very powerful as they're growing up. And I think Disneyland is, I feel Disneyland is really taking away a lot of their energy and we're, we're yeah. like not really seeing that because we're just trying to just enjoy it. And it's not even our faults though. Mm -hmm. Like we we go to Disneyland because we want to experience it. Like it looks pretty, it looks cool. You know, everybody says it's fun and you want to see what it's like. And I'm not going to lie, you know, it was fun for us, but it was also like really like, why is this happening? Mm -hmm. Like, this is too much. Like yeah. one ride I really enjoyed was the Star Wars ride. Although Star Wars still does have a lot of secret, um, messages about the universe the truth of what's going on in our spiritual war that was a good ride but there's also just really sinister it's like weird because the children rides were scarier than like the adult rides mm -hmm. so that's very true well i don't know they were all pretty scary they but, were all trippy in their own way but i, I was going to say that another thing that i just before I forget is that like as I was in these rides and you know for example Pirates of the Caribbean ride or like there was a lot of you know those props that move on their own and I'm just like starting to realize that like like before we know it these it, like it just something came to me I was like wow like these props these puppets these robots are just like moving on their own they're like constantly really, and but sometimes like, when even when they turn off mm -hmm. the machines they'll but, still but I was going to yeah. say that, like, that's just showing, like, AI is just growing more and more. Like, I feel like sooner than later, like, these things, these robots are going to be more advanced so quickly. Like, I was like, wow, like, it's just crazy. I remember I had a conversation with my sister. Like, she's like, well, these robots look real. Like, that's stripping me out. Like, you know, that just goes to show there's probably already some walking amongst us, but that's another topic but well the thing is is um one thing i want to mention is they use actual real skeletons for the pirates of the caribbean ride and before they even made the movie they made that ride and they put real human bones mm -hmm. skeletons like where did they get these from like think about it and yeah like it was proven like people actually went in to go investigate and there's still some real human bones on the ride and that really is weird and it's also just a creepy vibe overall and not to even mention 
for some weird reason, people are pouring their ashes into these rides or not, you know, their relatives' ashes. And the top two places would be the Haunted Mansion ride is where they pour it the most so they could live in Disney forever. Or the Pirates of the Caribbean ride is where they'll pour it as well. And sometimes in the flowers, they'll pour them into the flowers. So there's just a lot of paranormal experiences happening. Yeah, in the Haunted Mansion ride, that one, I remember as a kid even being really just scared about it. Like I just knew something was off about that ride. Even though many people say it's just a ride, but as I went into that ride with Amelia, she knows that like there was some weird stuff going on oh, in there. Oh yeah. As and soon as you get in, did. yeah. As soon as you get in, you just get taken underground. There's gargoyles all around you. And the thing about the gargoyles is, if if you guys know what a pentagram is, that's literally like what people use in rituals. It can be as a symbol for protection, or it could be used for bad. Honestly, there's good, bad to everything. And there's gargoyles placed just like a pentagram. So like on each point of the pentagram there was a gargoyle mm -hmm. surrounded by all of us we sunk underground and it there was children in this ride so many children and i remember there was a little girl looking at me and andrew and i was looking at her i was like oh mm -hmm. no <laughs> it got so dark like it was completely blackout dark and then they put like fake screams like super loud fake screams for about like 20 seconds there was somebody who came down and was hanging from the ceiling and it was just like, whoa, like too much, bro. And then the ride itself was already scary. It was er. trippy. <laughs> so I was just trying to see what the ride is and just, you know, seeing it from a different perspective and just being conscious about everything around me. And I remember I saw a lady in a, in a, this she had like a spell book in her a hand a spell book in her hand but there was a what is it it's like the circle that you use for to predict the future like what are they called those uh crystal ball crystal ball yeah i couldn't think of it right now thank you there was a crystal ball there too and she she was saying very weird things Subliminals, like, like really weird things i don't remember what it was but there were like I remember in that moment, I was like, okay, this is weird. And like, there was an open spell book. And at the end of the ride, like, you know, you go past the mirrors and then you see mirrors and then ghosts are around you. You know, mirrors are like portals. I wasn't and, looking, like I said, when and, I took my energy switch. And the ghost would say like, I'm going to follow you home and this and that. And Something did follow us home though. That night, yeah, I remember we were tripping a little <laughs> bit that like, night. Even his sister was freaking out. She was like, I'm tweaking, bro. I was like, but no, like these, I'm telling you guys, like this energy harvesting thing is so real. And not to mention NPCs, that's a real thing too. Mm -hmm. Because when I got off the Haunted Mansion ride, this dude didn't even look real. Like he looked like he was a part of the Haunted Mansion ride. And he was about to grab my arm to show me the way out. And I like, I usually, when I get a bad vibe about people, it's like, it goes throughout my whole body and I got a horrible vibe about him and I like jumped, I wouldn't let him touch me. And there was another guy on like the Pinocchio ride. Mm -hmm. And he didn't yeah. look real either. Uh, yeah, you told me about it. He just mm -hmm. gave me this weird vibe. And you know, when you go with your third eye being open, you just know things without like having significant proof it's just like the higher realms are with you and they are telling you things and yeah that guy wasn't real i'll tell you that and he was just a worker and yeah i mean you never know some people could be stuck there forever who knows you if they're even real it's, it's just a lot and like also there's just been so many reptilian depiction in these rides so many snakes and um like the Indi gargoyles are a big depiction. Of, like Indiana Jones, for Yeah, example. Indiana Jones, that ride was all reptilian depiction, all oh, evil, yeah. very sinister. Very fun ride, but very sinister. So mm -hmm. it's like, um, I don't know. It was just like all of these hidden messages were being shown to us for what it was. 
and it's just insane and also Walt Disney the the guy who created Disney he was a Freemason and he also was just very racist so I feel like he was a part of the um what do we call them the like, the, the bloodline mm -hmm. family uh, the Rothschild family just all the elite family the elite family mm -hmm. he's a part of the elite family so he was a Freemason um, he was involved in, in it he was involved in it he was very racist he also wouldn't let women create the movies um what is it called tell me tell me try to let's get the download together he would let women create he wouldn't the, let props them, the props or the, what, what is it you the images mm. He wouldn't let women do anything for Disney, basically, and I think it's because we're so intuitive and he doesn't like that women are intuitive and he was doing some shady stuff behind the scenes, like really he was. Yeah. And Yeah, and you know, we also stayed with a family, a very conscious family in Arizona for a while, it was very intuitive. It was like a psychic house, which mm -hmm. we'll talk about in another video, but she was actually protecting her children from Disney. Disney because we had a conversation with her and she was saying how there's a lot of darkness in Disney and how it will, you know, mess up the child's just consciousness and really just bring in a lot of unnecessary bad stuff, nightmares. Yeah, bad stuff coming into that. I think that most of these movies they put out very hidden dark subliminals and it can reach on to the child unconsciously because as for children we are at our purest form of energy mm -hmm. and that's their way of energy harvesting and i wanted to tell you this you guys before i went to disneyland i had a dream about this i was i was actually not just listening i wasn't listen dreaming i was actually actual projecting i went to another dimension and there was like artificial intelligence was just taking over everything like it was like a world made out of machines and this huge machine saw me and he got so mad and i flew away from him like i dodged him because i i got really good at flying my dreams and actually controlling them better and then i went to what it was like um basically a ride and there was an ai machine and there was children in this raggedy guys and they were throwing up like all over each other and it was like ongoing like they were stuck on that ride forever and i thought it was so weird that i had that dream only a couple well i had that projection mm -hmm. experience only a couple days before i went to disneyland like you know you start connecting the dots yeah. everything's connected we're going to talk about a whole nother thing about artificial intelligence because that's just like a whole nother subject mm -hmm. of craziness. Yes, it is. But we're just trying to shed some truth and awareness to you guys about Disney. Um, yes, it could be fun, but it's like also protect your children. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh, if I couldn't handle it, your children can't handle it. It's like, I see, I can literally see how traumatized these kids are when they get off. Like they just... They just yeah. look like that, like they don't know what to do with it. It's like their soul just got sucked out and I feel so bad for these children, like, oh my gosh. Yeah, guys, please just be conscious and be aware. There's a lot of hidden things going on. So we just wanted to shed some light on that. Yeah, um, just be very aware and conscious and careful. You know, we went to Disneyland because we got free tickets and, you know, we're like, what? Well and also go. we're just hidden detectives we're kind to of hidden. break this and spread some truth. And a lot of people have died there, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's the thing, like, so many people have died in Disneyland and it's like, they just cover it, their tracks and like, oh, it's whatever. Like, yeah, that's true. That's what they get to do when they're really higher in power. Yeah, a lot of people have died there and also, yes, it's, that's what I'm saying. Disney, the, the guy who made Disney was a part of the elite family line where they can just control anything. So basically, Disney can get away with anything and that includes sex trafficking. 
so a lot of children yeah. are actually being sex trafficked there without us knowing and that can be very scary as well yeah i mean you think about it disney attracts a lot of kids so that's probably a hot spot for just taking away their energy and taking away their physical vessel so it's pretty scary like i said there's a lot of weird stuff happening and yeah. i did see that in disney florida a lot of the workers got busted there mm -hmm. and they were all just sex trafficking kids there in florida and that just goes to show that stuff like this be happening yeah um i'm trying to think if there's anything else you want to mention but just be very careful and aware I think that's it. Yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah, guys. Well, we hope you guys are doing good and... Um, you know, we love making these story times, so... Yeah, let us know your thoughts yeah. about Disney. What do you think? I know, there was just a um, lot going on right there. I was mm -hmm. like, whoa, I need to recollect myself. But yeah, please let us know anything, any weird experiences or just any other hidden stuff that you have found about Disneyland we would like to know. Yeah. Okay, bye guys. Bye guys.